Hi everyone, we are back trying another delicious beer. Today we have Rogue Marionberry Sour, sour ale brewed with marionberries from Rogue Brewery. From my home state of Oregon, Oregon, Oregon. Located in Newport, I believe. They have pubs like in Portland, um, Newport. Is that all? That, those are the only ones I know of. But yeah, delicious sour. Their hazelnut brown is delicious. Uh, if you didn't know, Mary Berries are, I guess, indigenous, developed from Oregon. It is a mix between, oh, is it a blackberry and a raspberry, I believe? Does that sound right? Mary Berries, they are delicious. I never knew that they were just from Oregon actually so let's see hashtag marionberry sour 6.5 percent alcohol by volume Ch -ch -ch. pair it with camembert cheese a shrimp cocktail or a marionberry cobbler i have none of those but i do have a glass my tasty trisonation on this one uh dedicated to farmers and gardeners um it says dare risk and dream on our farm in Independence, Oregon, we grow marionberries, pumpkins, honey, and 10 varieties of hops. Not only is Oregon the birthplace of the marionberry, but our farm is located just miles from the first marionberry fields. You really can't find a better place to grow these big, juicy berries. Inspired by the berries on our farm, we brewed this sour ale to highlight the unique flavor of the marionberry and share it with the world. Thank you so much. Uh, I have had this for a while, I'm not going to lie. I believe this was one of the beers that Chander and Bill gave me for my birthday, which was back in September. But you know what? We don't discriminate. That smells fruitalicious. Oh, nice berry color. You can't really tell a whole lot on, uh, on film, but it is this gorgeous, whiny, whiny, uh, rich, deep, reddish, purplish. It smells like a sour, a tart ale, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and I'm excited. I do love a sour ale. Interesting. Mm. Now, I wouldn't classify this as a sour. Um, I would probably just call it a fruit ale and call it good because I'm not getting any kind of a pucker whatsoever. However, the taste is delicious. Mm. <laughs> you know what it kind of tastes like? <laughs> um, it kind of tastes like an elevated wine spritzer, if you will. So very berry licious. I could not point out that it's Mary and Berry. I would probably just call it berry in general. Um, which would also be accurate because a Mary and Berry is a blend of other berries. But um, it's just berry. It is fizzy, much like a beer. Uh, it is light tasting. but it truly reminds me of a wine spritzer. It's not very beer-like in taste. So I think that if you're not into the beer flavor, like the hoppiness or whatever, and you want to give it a go and you're not so sure about sours or whatever, this is a really good like mellow beer, very fruity. If you like wine, if you like wine spritzers, I bet you will like this. Yeah, super light. I do wish it was more sour, but I wish that most Sour ales, tart ales, sour beers were more sour. Um, I want to know, like, what is the most sourest beer there is? Like, that's what I want to know. Super mellow, super drinkable. Uh, this would even be good. This is going to be horrible. This would even be good if you wanted to put some ice in here. Um, I know you people who like to put ice in your wine. Don't. Uh, don't say that you don't, but this would also lend itself well to ice, make it super chilly. But yeah, 
easy to drink, tastes like fruit punch a little bit, fizzy fruit punch, a um, little bit of kick, not beer like at all. Thanks Rogue. This is delicious. I love the color of the can. Very unique to the Marionberry itself. And if you've ever had a uh, Marionberry pie, Marionberry cobbler, ice cream, it's delicious. Again, it literally reminds me of uh, blackberries and raspberries and actually how Marionberry, Marion berries look, they just look like blackberries to me, um, but not as dark of a color. easy to drink. Thanks Rogue. Uh, if you've tried this, let me know. If there's other sour beers that you want me to try, please let me know. I love them. As sour as they could possibly get. I love that pucker. Um, and it's always nice to have something that reminds me of Oregon and definitely Rogue. Been there a lot. I've had a lot of their beers. I've had the hazelnut brown a lot. Or is it called brown nectar hazelnut brown? It's delicious. Uh, I wouldn't say that their other, like the lighter beers are necessarily my favorites, but definitely the brown is something special. Um, and yeah, it's always good to have something local. So thank you for joining me. Make sure to comment below if you've had this or if there's another beer I should try. Uh, make sure to like this and please subscribe. I am pushing towards, I think we're almost at 400 now. Yeah, I think I was at like 380 today. So we're pushing strong. Uh, please tell your friends to follow me. I would love that on here, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all at Tasty Tries and Asian Eyes. So cheers to you and we'll see you next time. Bye.